If you're looking to buy, repair, sell, update, or restore your Apple Mac, Minko's Max offers a personal, genuine service to all customers with many years of experience and specialist technicians in store. All right, so here we have a Microsoft Surface Book 2. And what we've done is we've made it into a Hackintosh. The Hackintosh system is on this external drive here. So we're going to go ahead and boot this system. Go ahead and select Mac OS. And just allow it to boot. Alright, now it's at the Apple loading screen. As you can see, it's just loading now. And we've got a clean login screen. There we go. Now we'll go ahead and Put in the password. And so this Surface Book 2 has a quad core i7. As you can see, quad core i7, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and the graphics card that's in this is an NVIDIA card, so it's not going to show up or work with this, especially as this is a detachable top unit where it turns into tablet mode. So that's not going to work. The storage on this is a 512 gig NVMe, but that's going to show up as external. And right now we're booted off this external 256 gig SSD. So taking a look at the system report, we can see that the display is actually working really well. There is 24 bit color depth and it is running at 3000 x 2000 for the resolution. That's a 3 to 2 ratio. And that's what this screen is in. So other than that, what's also working is going to be the keyboard backlight. So the keyboard backlight is properly functioning. If we can go ahead and get a clear shot of that. It'd be very difficult to get a clear shot. But there is a functioning keyboard backlight and the brightness control is also working perfectly fine with this display. Now onto what's not working with this. So other than the GPU, it can't get a proper battery readout on this due to the Surface Book 2 having two batteries, one in this top half, one in this bottom half. So it can't get a battery readout. And then the touch screen on this is not working either. So, so yeah, you, there's no touch controls on this because macOS normally doesn't make touch screen, um, doesn't have touch screen support as Apple does not make touch screen devices. The other thing is the Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi is not functioning on this either. So that's one thing to be considered as you'd need a external USB Wi-Fi card. Other than that, most things on this are functioning. So we've got the battery not working. We've got the, well, the battery reading not working. The battery's working itself. We've got the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth not working. We've got the GTX 1062 gigabyte that's in this space not working. Other than that, everything's working perfectly fine. And this is, this makes for quite a nice Hackintosh. Um, because if we take a look at this device, it kind of has that aesthetic to it when it comes to MacBooks and whatnot. That same metal base, it's got that kind of metallic color. It's got a fairly large trackpad for its size. So scro scrolling around the screen using this, it's not really much of a headache. It's got USB and SD and those sort of general I.O. that you'd hope to find. 
And I believe the other last thing not working on this, which I forgot to mention, is going to be the camera. But other than that, everything on this works really good. So yeah, that's it. This is a Surface Book 2 and Microsoft device comically running an Apple operating system. It's running its competitor's operating system. But it runs it very well. So that is something that makes this laptop sort of somewhat attractive if you're a Mac OS user as it kind of keeps the form factor I would undock the screen but sadly we're running off this external drive if I undock it then it may crash so I'm not gonna undock it from its base right now so yeah other than that Surface Book 2 running macOS